class under the title number system record the set of integers z that i have already taught you further i think i stopped at the lesson rational numbers the symbol of rational number is q many children will be immediately ask tell the symbol of rational numbers they say r r represents some other set now further we have to learn the meaning of one more type of set before that just to recall some of the points that we have already learned in the lesson squares and square roots just a right the square root of 1 square root of 4 square root of 5 so square root of 9 square root of 16 etc dear children you may know the perfect value of these numbers of these square roots square root of 1 is 1 Square root of four is two. Square root of nine is three. Square root of sixteen is four. Like that. See these numbers are perfect square numbers, and I am sure you know all this. So we have square root of one, square root of four, square root of nine, etc. In between, some numbers are missing. Say we have square root of two, square root of three, square root of five, square root of six, square root of seven, square root of nine. See these are perfect square numbers. For this we cannot take perfect square, but there is square. Root. Say for example square root of two, square root of three, square root of five, square root of six. We cannot get perfect square roots, but it has got its own value. Now consider these numbers. I will write square root of one in this situation one. Square root of four. Square root is two. Again, as I told you in the previous class, there are rational numbers which are written in the form p by q. P by q. So what about these numbers? Square root of two, square root of three, square root of six. Of course, we can write square root of two divided by one, square root of three divided by one, square root of six divided by one. Are they rational numbers? The question is, are they rational numbers? And uh, the answer is no. Now. Why it is not? You may think this is p, this is q. What is the definition of meaning of p by q? P and q are integers. Here, one is integer, one is integer, two is integer. So they belongs to z. P comma q belongs to z. But in this case, square root of two is not the integer. So we don't have square root of three is not an integer. Square root of six is not an integer, so we cannot say this is a rational number <laughs> because these are not integers. So such numbers are called irrational numbers. Irrational numbers. Rational number means we should be able to write in the form p by q, where p is an integer, q is an integer. Now you may think p is uh, square root of two, uh, q is one, p is square root of six, q is one. But the condition is p comma q should be an integer. Here in set of integers we don't have these numbers, and so it, we cannot say it is a rational number. And so we say it is an irrational number. So how to define irrational number? If you are not able to write it in the form p by q. Given any two numbers, if you are not able to write it in the form p by q, such numbers are called irrational numbers. 
Essentially, you say that it's symbol of irrational number. Like that, we can have many, many, many irrational numbers. It is considered pi also is an irrational number. Pi value is 22 by 7. Its decimal value is 3.14. It goes up to infinity. So, like that, we can give so many examples of irrational numbers. Dear children, if you are able to write in the form, write in the form p by q, then it is a rational number. If you are not able to write in the form p by q, then it is uh, defined as irrational numbers. And in the previous classes, I have clearly showed you how to represent the integers on the number line. Now the question is, how to represent represent for example, square root of 2, square root of 3, square root of 5, etc. on the number line. That is the next point. How to represent these irrational numbers on the number line? The question can be discussed is locate. Locate square root of 2 on the number line. Locate this to find out the exact place from the word locate only at any location. The exact point where this interaction number lies. So the question can be like locate square root of 2 on the number line. Just uh, observe. I will construct and show you how to represent this. As usual, by a long line. Simply draw a long line. Mark a point. Take at least 2 or 3 centimeters as 1 unit. Say this is 3 centimeters 1 unit. Or 2. If you take only 1 centimeter, you will find extremely difficult to construct. So take 3 centimeters as 1 unit. This is 1 unit. So you are starting from A. A to B consider as 1 unit. Now keep the protractor at the point B and mark 90 degree. Just to these two points, draw a long line. So here actually it is 90 degree perpendicular line. Now using the compass, take this one unit length, one unit length is already marked from the point B, mark a line. So this also will be one unit, both are equal distance. Give a name, C. Now join this. You get a right angle triangle. And you know in the previous classes, you must have learned in a right angle triangle, this is the longest side, hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is the last, longest side. Take this length, longer side. Take the radius of this length. And make an arc. Now produce the line at the left side. So the arc is cutting on either side of the line. So this is the point where the arc is cutting. This is the point on the, the opposite direction. Now here it is 1, here it is 1. How to find out this length AC? So by Pythagoras theorem, 
na enfrentada a Estrela. Da espera na Eurogenis, espera na Eurogenis, sairá em dia. Esse espera em posto, sama espera para dar tudo seis. E a B espera, plus B C espera. Lagas seis. Espera para dar tudo seis posto, sama espera para dar tudo seis. This is one spare plus one spare. One spare is one. This is equals to two. So A is spare. Now this uh, when you take square root, when you take square root of A is square. You get square root of two. Square root of A is square is A. A is. Since we know already, square root of A is square is equals to. So the A is then is square root of. And when we are taking this radius and make an arc, make an arc. So the arc cuts here. This is the place. They call it as D, where square root of two lies. This is minus square root of two. Plus and minus. So the irrational number square root of two is represented by this. Listen, children. From here to here, it is one. And uh, it is not exactly half. Little less than half. From here to here it is one then. Half means it should be like this. It looks little less than that. So the approximate value of this one is one point four. One point four, not exactly one point five. And this way we can represent the irrational number on the number line. So we say locate square root of two on the number line. So square root of two lies here. Minus square root of two lies here. So here we say we can say minus one. Little more than that. So here it is plus one. Plus one. Little more than that. It's not exactly one point five. It is one point four. Like that, we can also represent square root of three, square root of five, etc. On the number line, and that we will see in the next class.